This is France's new normal. Soldiers are now a constant sight in the streets of Paris and other cities across the country, a reflection of the current global threat of terror. More than 230 people were killed in attacks in France since 2015, and the government continues to try to contain the danger. For Yannick, sitting and waiting for a solution was simply not an option. After the events of 2015, something clicked. So the attacks are the main reason I joined the reserve. I thought to myself, if I don't take action now, one day terrorism will knock on my front door. And to avoid that, thousands of young people like Yannick are being called in to help. The operational reserve hopes to enlist 40,000 people by the end of 2018. The idea is to at least make the French feel safer. It makes us feel that we have a government that cares about its people. It could happen to anyone, so the fact that they're always around, practically in every street, it's reassuring. We are scared for them, very scared. It is such a shame to think that they could be attacked, them who are here to monitor us, to protect us. Despite the government's efforts to secure the country, incidents like the one in Paris on Thursday highlight the challenge terrorism still represents to the French security forces. So you're saying the threat is still present, still real? It's massive, yes. Claude Moniquet is a security consultant who well knows the difficulties the French are facing. He worked for France's intelligence service for 20 years. So we have between two and 3,000 people who could be dangerous and are present on the French territory. The capacity of surveillance allows the police intelligence service to survey approximately 200 people at the same time, no more. And 200 people, I mean, all together. That means that it's also for the criminals, it's for the Russian spies, uh, it's for the Cosa Nostra, and for the terrorists. Limited resources and several enemies, a combination held responsible for yet another attack on France's soil on Thursday night. As they head to the polls on Sunday, the French will be reminded that they will have to go on with life while learning to live with the threat of terrorism. Annalise Borges, TRT World, Paris.